Welcome back guys, and today we're doing something a little different, but not really, I don't know, eh. But we're gonna go on my kayak, and then we're gonna go to a spring that's a pretty popular spring, and we're gonna do some treasure hunts in there, a lot of people swim there, so it should be a good one. I mean, yeah. So I'm gonna load up the kayak and get ready. Let's do it, let's do it. I forgot to mention. The reason why there wasn't a video yesterday is because nothing really, I didn't really do anything yesterday. I tried to go fishing. I didn't catch anything, so that's the reason. But something pretty, well, something pretty bizarre did happen that day. And here's that video right now. The storm passed that way. A squirrel just fell right in the water. Are you alright, bud? Guys, he's I don't think this squirrel's okay. You alright, bud? Alright. <laughs> that was that's pretty wild. Yeah, let's do it. And we're off. I got a little bit of a paddle to get there. So, um, I think I'm here. I don't really know. I figured there would be a little more people, but as you can see, there's no one, so. I don't know if this might be. I think it is. Yeah, so I'm going to get in the water now, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Let's do it. Alright, y'all. I found it. So, it's actually back here. As you can see, the water is super clear. So... But squeeze my way through there, through here, and start diving. Oh yeah, man. Oh, the water's cold. Where's the spring though? That's where I wanted to start was at the spring. Yeah, this is this is the spring right here. Well let's start swimming, folks. Mm -hmm. There's some chilly water right there. Yeah. Let's do this. Ready? This is gonna be cold.
I'm gonna get on out of here, folks. Oh, that's a dead hawk. Alright, I'm gonna get in over here. I'm gonna swim along all those boats and stuff. And hopefully find some more treasures. Let's do it. Alright, y'all. I'm finished. Let me show you the collectibles I got. You ready? Ready for this B roll right here? Oh, yeah. Okay, so first off, I got this 14 karat gold hairband. Freaking nice. Eh. And then I got, you know, a Slim Jim wrapper, a Crab Claw, that's pretty cool. And then my favorite item is this a whistle. Well, it works too. I didn't think it worked, but it does. Okay. And then. I'm going to need y'all's help with this one. What is this? I don't know. It looks like a candle of some sort, but I've never seen a candle in a container like this. I have no idea what it is, but it's going in the trash. So, yeah, that's all I found. Eh. I honestly thought I was going to find a lot more, but... Unfortunately not. Wait, did I show y'all the... Did I show y'all the lure? I got a lure too. Oh yeah. I really thought I was going to find a lot more, but... I don't know, a lot of divers go through there every day. And... The water's super clear, so I can see how people can find this stuff and pick it, pick it up that they dropped and whatever. But yeah, I'm going to go get some lunch. Alright, I'm back. I don't know what to do right now. I heard it's gonna storm really bad and I have to go to class at 3 o'clock now, today. Yeah, I gotta go to, it's actually a CPR class, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, a little story time today, folks, a little story time. So, which one should I do? Okay, so one time we were mullet netting right in this neighborhood, which you kind of aren't allowed back there, but we wanted to be back there because there's mullet back there. And then uh, it was me, Brandon, and Damien. Yeah, we started cast netting. Then, like an hour later, I was cast netting, and like as I was cast netting, like, as I was in motion, I freaking, I hear, beep, 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 beep. It's a freaking, like, the truck, the, like, uh, it's a truck for, the, like, the neighborhood. It was all fancy, had a wrap on it and stuff. And he's driving up through the grass, freaking running right at me. I should have fell in the water. That would have been the funniest thing, but he scared me really bad. And then he, like, skirted up, was like, you're trespassing on private property, you need to leave now. I'm like, okay. And then and I started walking over there. And I'm like on the other side of this like big old land thingy. So I had to walk all the way back to my truck, which is quite the walk, especially when you're carrying like a 20 pound cast net. Pretty heavy. And then you went over and talked to Brandon and Damien, telling them how we can't cast net here. It's private property. And you know, just saying all that stuff, you know? And then, I, I guaranteed someone called on us because people don't really like us cast netting back there. So I'm pretty sure someone called and said, hey, there's some kids cast netting. Now, I've been doing that for like a few years now. I've only had one person yell at me the whole time. I, I just told her I lived there and that I didn't really care. But, <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> as we were leaving, I know the person was like still watching us, whoever called on us, so I got an air horn. My horn for my truck does not work at all. So I have an air horn that I keep with me. And the, like the whole way, me driving out of that neighborhood, just, man, 
the whole way out. Just to let them know we got the message. You know? Anyways, that's my story. That's probably going to be the end of this episode. Didn't really do much today because I couldn't really do much today. But yeah, there's probably going to only be one more episode of this Sea School series. And tomorrow's test day, so I got that to look forward to. And yeah, I don't know when this video will go up, but put it up sometime. As always, fellers. As always, fellers. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. And I'll see y'all in the next video.